Hello! In this video I'm going to review this smart bracelet, which is basically a cheap Chinese copy of the Fitbit smartwatch, which is a sort of health tracking watch that sends information on the number of steps you've done, number of calories you've burned, to your iPhone or Android phone. So this is only $6 from AliExpress. Um, I'm going to unbox this and show you some of the functionality, show you how it connects via Bluetooth to my um, iPhone, but it would also connect to an Android phone, um, basically give you some idea whether or not this is worth buying. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I've just reached over 200 subscribers, which I'm really pleased about. So thanks very much. Okay, so let's unbox this. Okay, so on the front it says, Call reminder, sleep monitoring, calorie consumption, the movement distance, which I guess means how far you've walked, anti-lost alarm and selfie function. Okay, so let's have a look. Right, so it's pretty basic packaging. Inside we've got some instructions. Um, on this side they're all in Chinese by the looks of it. And on this side they're all in English and it appears to be showing you how to use the iPhone app version of the app you're supposed to use with this um, watch. Okay, we've also got a charging thing, which is very similar to the charging thing um, that I had on the Apple cl watch clone that I reviewed before. And then we've got the watch itself, which does look remarkably like a Fitbit, but probably much lower quality. There's a sort of silicon strap, this metal clasp, which I guess does that, yeah. See, see that's pretty good. Okay. And, um, oh. Oh, right. So the actual watch itself is just this tiny little piece of electronics here. And I can see a button on the side. And when you press that, it shows the time, the date, and the remaining battery. And if you press it again, it's a picture of feet and the number. So I guess that's the number of steps you've done. Then there's a sort of distance icon, so that's how far you've done. A picture of fire, which is calories. A picture of moon, of the moon, <laughs> which I think this also tells you how much light sleep and heavy sleep, deep sleep you've had. Okay, so they're all the basic functions by the looks of it. So now I'm going to show you the um, iPhone app that works with this. Excuse the scar on my arm, but this is what it actually looks like um, on a wrist. So it's... I mean, I think if I didn't know any better, I'd probably say that this was a... This was a Fitbit if I saw it on somebody else's arm. But of course, it's a tenth of the price. So the app I've downloaded from the App Store is called Mov Now Plus, and it's got a picture of a foot on it and it wants me to turn my Bluetooth on, so I will. I think you need to turn that on to be able to sync the data. And there's it's quite a simple interface, which is good in a way. And then on this screen, it shows you the distance, the calories, and the number of steps you've done. Um, I'll try and um, connect it back to the watch. So, I've, so the watch is on down here. Okay. Maybe it's doing something. Okay, I think because I haven't worn it today, I think it is actually connected. I did wear it for a couple of days, another a week ago. And you can see that it shows you the history of the number of steps, the distance and the calories. Um, so it is quite quite powerful, really, for if you want to monitor your steps and and your exercise and stuff. There's the sleep function. Now, I can't really sleep with a watch on. It makes me feel, it's a bit irrational, but it makes me feel quite uncomfortable. But it uses the accelerometer in the watch to tell whether or not you're moving much between the hours of 9 p.m. and 9 a.m. And uh, it uses the amount of movement to determine whether or not you're in light sleep or deep sleep. So I think it's just as simple as that. And there's also some alarms you can set, which you could do anyway, things for... Till, uh, it can remind you to have a drink of water, remind you to wake up, and an event alarm. So it's just a, just a um, alarm thing. So actually, this is very, this is very simple, but it's quite powerful in a way. Um, for six dollars, 
that I can I could track my steps. I mean, if I was to just buy a cheap pedometer that you attach to your foot or something, you'd have to write down the the things in a spreadsheet or whatever. So, but this is this is pretty. This makes the whole thing pretty straightforward. Um, it doesn't do heart rate monitoring or anything like that, um, or any of. And I'm not entirely sure how. Um, Accurate the calorie burning measurement is. I think it just uses your BMI and the amount of work, walking you've done to give a rough estimation. I shouldn't think this is as reliable as um, as the f real Fitbit. I did wear this for a few days, and I was surprised how many steps I was doing. I'm I'm not sure how accurate it is. I I feel like it might overestimate. But then again, maybe I do walk, like, maybe I did walk 8,000 steps at the weekend. But that does just, you know, on one day. But I think to, that really does sound like quite a lot of steps, to be honest. And um, it was comfortable and non-intrusive. And actually, it was quite useful to have... Um, how, I don't really usually wear a watch. It was actually quite useful to have something that gave me the time. Um... And it, there's something a bit addictive about seeing how many steps uh, you've done uh, and trying to kind of beat that each day. Um, now, it does say on the box that it does things like selfie function, anti-lost alarm, and call reminder. Now, I don't know if it's because I've got an iPhone that none of those functions seem to be present on this at all. Not not a single function. Maybe if you use this on Android, maybe they do work. Actually, looking at the instructions again, um, there are there aren't any of the things about call reminder and stuff, which is a little bit uh, bad considering it says it on the front. As I say, that might work on Android, but it does does talk about um, a reminder if you sit too long at a time period for a reminder, which actually. That is pretty good. I mean, all in all, for six dollars from AliExpress, this is a really powerful bit of kit. In terms of battery life, um, I think it really only needs charging like once every couple of days, maybe once every three or four days, even depending on how often you you use the um, LCD display. Um, charging doesn't seem to take very long at all. I mean, I've been charging it for sort of an hour or less, and it says it's full. Um, so, really, for six dollars, you can't go wrong. I'm really happy with this purchase. Uh, if you would like to win this, I mean, it's really cheap, but I'll basically, if you live in the US, the UK, or Europe, and you want to win this, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the comment box down below, and um, I will send this for free to one of you. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If I can get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to have plenty of giveaways, so it's definitely worth subscribing.